Hmm. Wa, 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 wa. Welcome. There we go. Welcome. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Ghost Lake Garden. I am your host, Bone Score. There it is. There on the sign. And today, we're here. And uh, shit, I did hit the right buttons, right? One, two. Yeah, it looks like everything's good. Okay, we're <laughs> sorry. Um, rough start today. I was I was focused, and then all of a sudden, my stepdad lets in some dickhead to look at the water heater. And uh, God, it's it's supposed to be for some like energy rebate thing. Um, it was a scheduled thing. The guy was supposed to be here. Apparently, I just wasn't told about it. Um, but I got real tense because, like, forever ago, we used to have people coming and knocking on the door um, and f calling us on the phone and being like, hey, you know, oh, we're here to look at your water heater or your, your fucking air conditioner or your furnace or whatever. And, oh, no, you got to get this replaced. And, oh, it's no good anymore. And, you know, you got to sign up with us and, you, you know, we'll take over. And, like, they wanted you to pay a whole bunch of money to, like, sign over your contract from the people you were renting your water heater from and then, like, get a new one from them. And so it was a whole thing. Um, used to waste a shitload of time and be very disruptive. Um, but, yeah, we, uh, I guess we were expecting them today, so. But that threw me, because that happened, like, as soon as I was, like, I was grabbing the mouse to hit the go live button, and they come thumping down the stairs, so. That was, uh, that was jarring. Threw me off a little bit. But today, we're here to play... Bo. Bo Path of the Teal Lotus. Which is cute and adorable, and, uh, a neat little game. We, uh... We did a good bit of it yesterday. We got to check out the city and meet a whole bunch of people. And we got to go explore the forest. And I'm wondering... We've got this grapple thing now. I'm wondering if the grapple thing will cut the vines in the forest. Or if our upgraded staff will do that. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll have to, uh... Check. What is that? Is that outside? Hold on. Yeah, okay. There was a, a horrible noise, and I was like, uh-oh, is that my computer? No, it's coming from outside. Okay. Heart rate go down. Okay. <laughs> so, maybe we'll run over and we'll check out the forest real quick. And we'll see if we can't break the vines. Uh, and if we can't, we will just go back over the mountains. Alright? Alright. So, let's boot up Bo and jump right into it, shall we? Just going to take a second. And... Ah, there it is. Okay, so let's all together now. One, two, three. Sugar shaw. Hey, there it is. Just it just took a second. And you know, it goes a lot better if we're all, you know, in unison. You know, we all do it together at the same time. It's okay though. Some of you might be new. You might not know the spell. You might not be familiar with the ritual of summoning the game. That's fine. That's fine, but you gotta do your best. <clears throat> I should make a panel for that on on the Twitch page. Down below, we'll, we'll have, like, rules and schedules and links to things, and um, we'll, we'll have the incantation for the magic spell to summon the video game.
that way people who are new to the channel can check it out and go, oh, well, that's what that is. I'm just going to run past everything. And I'm not going to bother to sit at any of the, the shrine dealies. Because then I'll just end up spawning there. <clears throat> oh no, the tea field! It's all fucker rude. No! Wait a minute, hold on, hold up. Oh, there's like a little tree thing there, a little tree sapling. Is that the little spirit? That d oh, that's sad. I hope that's not the little little fox girl or whatever she was. It was like I wanna, I wanna see the forest. It is what she wanted, right? She wanted to see the forest, but she couldn't for the trees. Or something, I don't know. I was, I don't know where I'm going with that. I was going to formulate something, but I didn't. A strange fellow your friend is. There's a bloody battle brewing within him. It is a warm darkness, a sunflower with thorns. Ooh. A sunflower with thorns. There's some imagery. A warm darkness. Here we go. So, yeah! Oh, that's exactly what you do with that. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah! But you can't. Okay, you can't, uh, do it to the other ones. You, sorry, you can't tether and, 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 and hookshot dash to the, the other lanterns there, the regular ones. Okay. So. Wait a minute. There's a map, isn't there? Oh, but there's no... Wait a minute. There's a place I didn't go up there. Oh no! Oh, this is horrid. Yeah, this. Oh, you break it from the other side. That's what that is. Uh, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna try that again and be very careful. Oh fuck. That's the wrong way to go, isn't it? Mmm. I tried. I should have tried out the harpoon thing. Oh, the fucking roof. God damn it. Should have tried out the harpoon thing yesterday. While I was still in here. In, in there, in the forest. Man, there's stuff in there. Did you guys see the stuff? that I got. I got a whole three stuff. I can spend that in here, right? The three stuff?
Uh, I could if I had more Foxfire. Okay. Let's do that. Let's find some more of that while I'm trying to explore the rest of that shit. Maybe I should have uh, picked a save point. Although I don't need to go that far into it this time. At least I don't think I do. You know what would be real helpful? A marker on the map to show me where I died last. Mm, you know what? Let me write that down. Map marker to show where you died last. That seems like a feature that like more games with maps should have. Like, you look at this map, there's next to no detail on it. We're lucky that it's got those little stamps to show us where like the saving shrine and the shop and like all that shit is. Uh, this, this is kind of, um, I'll be real. Like I've said it before. I hate maps that are just like the, this one is a little bit better than the ones that are just squares. This one at least shows you the shape of the room, um, which is much appreciated. That's a big improvement actually. Uh, but there's no, there's no detail. Right? There's no, like, here's where, where a door is, and here's, like, where it connects to a thing, and here's the fucking, um, like, here's, here's a platform, and, and here's a, a pit, and there's very little to no detail on it. There should at least be the option... To like, maybe spend currency or something to upgrade that later on. Although if you're gonna have that be something that you upgrade, then like, why not have it just like that from the start, I guess. I can't remember where like any of those things are. I think there was like three or four of them total. So if I check up here. This is just going to drop me down where the Tanukis are. And I kind of don't want to fight them. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Bounce. Oh, damn it. And I'm back at the mountains. Okay. Well. Maybe we, we just go do the mountains for now. Because, like, where I tried to wait. Hold on. Okay, that's. This is about where I died. There's a down area. There's a place I can go down that I missed somehow. This I can't get through f until, like, later. But that, though. There's gotta be... Yeah. I 
I feel like like this this L shape right here has got to be another one of those stone things like it was right here. And maybe up here as well, right above it. You know? One more try. I know where the most dangerous areas are now, and <laughs> I've gone through them, so. As long as I don't sit at the shrine, I'll be fine. I can explore and then come back by purposefully dying. It'll be alright. It'll be totally fine. Really do wish I had, like, a quicker cooldown on the dash, though. Maybe a slightly faster walking speed. The ability to sprint, maybe. Go, 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 go. Okay. Try this once again. So, we want to go see if we can break through that down area, right? It's right here. It's, I'm standing on it. Why can I not? I probably had get like a ground slam ability or something, right? Is that what does it? If that's the case, then I will have to come back later. Fuck, that sucks. Okay, well, at least I found another one of these. Got more of them crystals. Now... Hey, ooh, okay. There's a couple of things going on here. Is this it's a little guy boing okay what do we have here deliberation well equipped this omori removes the timer while aiming battable objects oh that could be useful <clears throat> and right in here is Hmm, okay. Did I sit at that by accident? Or is that just where it spawns me? Cause I oh because I hit the brambles. Uh -oh. <clears throat> okay. I should drink my tea. Drink it. Drink it. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, hmm. Uh, what exactly? Okay. This is fucking weird. Oh, I don't... Oh, fuck. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, this is a weird-ass puzzle, and I don't like it. It's creepy. 
This is a creepy fucking puzzle. Uh, oh. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, I'm gonna get launched all the way back over. Okay, well, at least I know that that's there. So, let me... Fuck. <laughs> oh, damn it. I was gonna go explore the other way. You know, that's fine. Let's just... Fuck. Uh, let's just go this way. And I'll go back and I'll deal with that later. Now that I, I've confirmed that the, the forest is undone. Oh, he doesn't... He doesn't reset my shit. Oh? Okay. Weird. Weird that they work like that. Strange. Okay. Don't care for these lanterns that don't let me bounce off of them. They're dickheads. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Ooh! Did I get hit? I can't tell. I think I did. Uh, ooh. There's something above me. Like, up in there. Isn't there? No? Okay. Look like it. The hell? Oh, he's like a bouncy lantern. Why? That's weird. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? They're like those weird heads from, uh... Uh, spirited away. Fucking weird creepos. Boing. Like the snowmen's are having different faces. Oh, come on. So do they bust as soon as they... Yeah. As soon as they hit the wall, they bust. Fucking... Oof. Damn it. There we go, that's better. What is this? Pungent root. What does it... What does it do? Ooh. Whoa. I just wanted to look at this. Strange looking root found in Megumi Mountain. It is cold to the touch, but extremely spicy. Natives of Megumi Mountain will sometimes eat these to survive harsh winters. It is covered... Coveted as an ingredient in ramen dishes. Oh. Cool. It looks like a weird spiky tongue. Oh, look at them. Look at them all rolling at me. Oh, you fuckers. Oh. Oh. Oh, you hit them to separate them and then you gotta hit them some more. Okay. I. Alright. What is... Oh, I'm caught against the... Thing. Okay. Whoops. You guys are fucking weird. I don't know what they're supposed to be. 
Is that a... That's a death pit. Oh, there's a lot of these things, isn't there? Ooh, there we go. Our new uh, Daruma doll. Doesn't last very long. And that was boiled, wasn't it? So that was with uh, two eyes then. Uh, then, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's try this one next. But, okay, I've got to go up this way, but then, shit, Whew, that was close. Uh, all right, and then, yeah! Is this the right way? I hope so. Oh, it's something. Would you like to read a blessing? Slip from the tree of blessing. I hear that this next part of your journey may be tricky. Take a moment to breathe here first. You got this. Mm. Okay, hold on. Drink. And drink. No, you can't bounce off of the icicles with your stick. Okay. Well, can't go through there. I guess that's like the path to the Tengu village that we were reading about. Uh. Okay. Homing projectiles. I like that. Yeah, I definitely like this Daruma doll better than the other one. Let's see if I can't get like a, a better use of it in like a a different room or something. Ha ha ha! Oh, that was stupid. I ah, awesome. That is what that's intended to be used for. Oh. I really appreciate this whole, like, intended aerial what have you. However, now that I see this guy, I can't get to him. This was a, a hidden thing. I would have to, like, leave the zone and come back to get him, though. That's upsetting. Oh, you no, know, this is upsetting. Having to do this part again? Ugh. All right. Oh, fuck. I don't know why I tried to bounce off of him. That was silly and foolish. Both at once. Push Uh-oh. Oh, go quickly. Okay, we're doing it. Uh, you fucking freaks. Uh -huh. Just don't let them breathe fire on you. It's all it takes. So it looks like now that I have like 10T maximum, um, if I have 10... I can just hold the button down and he'll take two sips of the tea to heal more. Okay. 
Can I... Okay, he's stuck down there, but the fire. They only take two hits apiece, I think, so... I wonder if that would have been three had I not upgraded my staff. I'm curious to know just, like, how much that upgrade is worth. If I should have kept the crystal flower thing and upgraded my... My tea kettle? Yeah, my teapot. Upgrade that first. What the hell? Oh, there's snowflakes! Uh... Hold on, what is... Oh, there is totally something over there. Oh! <clears throat> oh, shit. Okay. That's not too bad. As long as the enemies are cleared out, this isn't so bad to go back up. I've got a... Oh, so close. I can do it, though. Yeah, there we go. Just gotta launch in the right direction. Can I truly not... Like, do anything here? This looks like it goes somewhere. Ooh, that's a really narrow spot you gotta shoot for there. Uh oh. Huh. They're coming after me. Oh no! I wanna sit and drink my tea, but I'm worried about them rolling up on me again. Like this. Hi, oh, Bobby. How you doing? Just a good boy. Oh, you can see the city in the background there. Cool. And there's Asahi. Hey, buddy. Come here sometimes to reflect upon my life. Overlooking this gaudy castle and his insatiable celestial consumption. Can't help but question my role in all of this. Together we've built a testament to the strength and will... Strength and will of all inhabitants of Strange Garden. A place where even the Kami now kneel and bow their heads in reverence. We little guys are capable of great things. We are also capable of things worthy of deep shame. I do suppose there is a certain perverse beauty to it. But beneath that beauty, the bodies stack high. And it seems that every step taken towards this brighter future sinks us deeper into the very darkness that we've been trying to escape from. Whatever, man. I'm gonna go bounce around some more, dude. The hell are these things? Okay, do I do I just have to contend with them the whole time I'm up here? Cause I don't like that. Oh, they're sickle weasels. They're the, um, the Kame Itachi. Riding in on their wind currents. But, like, can I defeat them? I can hit them, it looks like. Yeah, there should be three of them. So, maybe if I just keep hitting them? I can't tell if they're here as, like, actual enemies or if they're here for me to bounce on. I genuinely cannot tell. Let's get rid of that little guy.
I, I'm just trying to... There we go. Did that work? Doesn't look like it. I don't... I don't think I can do combat with these things. I think I have to, like, push past them. I will do my best. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, shit. I'm, like, stuck down here now. There we go. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I've seen it. I've seen whatever it is to the right. I don't know what it is, but I've seen it. God, I have, like, no chance to sit and drink tea. Ah, fuck, see, I just tried. They're too fast. Do it perfect, asshole. Fuck me, man, really? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I just wanted to jump on the platform. What? Why? Why, why didn't it hit him? Oh, Jesus Christ. This section is dicks. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, god damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. I just What the hell? Wait, so look at the signs there. This is telling me that I can go to the city like this. Or is it just the view of the city? It looks like it's just the view of the city. And this is towards the sickle weasels, it's, it's telling me. Hmm. God damn it. I just... I just wanna... I just wanna progress. I, I think that would be swell if I could progress. I did it. I got the guy. Ah, oh, damn it. At least I got the guy with the stuff. Damn it. Should have waited at the end for the little dude. <clears throat> Why are the snowmen here if they don't do anything? Very confusing. This is tricky. You gotta have, like, the best luck getting them to line up for that. Fuck. Hmm. Gotta say, I don't care for this as a, an obstacle. Doesn't seem like I can even, like, attack them. I mean, like, there's, like, the white hit spark, but, like, they just keep coming. 
There's no... There's no end to them. There we go, get it. Yeah, iframes because of my little dude buddy. Fuck, man. Jesus, what a section. Oh, I hate that. Thank God it's only, like, as long as it is. That's terrible. Look at this fucking tea house. Is this... Also inhabited by... Oh, no, it's a different, uh... Different person. It's a mantis lady. Is she gonna... Is she gonna cut my head off if I don't nut in her before she finishes? Welcome, Traveler. My name is Masaki, the tea master of the humble Megumi Mountain Tea House. We certainly don't get much of our kind traveling these parts. You must be braver than most. Yes, uh, you have a certain aura about you, one I've not felt in many a season. But I'm afraid there's been a tea shortage of late. I'll have to take a trip to the eastern tea fields and speak to Momo about the delays in shipments. It's my deepest regret not being able to offer some tea to soothe your weary soul. If only there were some way to have an ever-flowing kettle that produces tea indefinitely. Wouldn't that be something? Ah, but would such a tea kettle exist? My predecessors did regale me with an old legend once. Legend whispers of an artifact called the Infinite Kettle. Crafted in an age-long past, it's said to hold the power to brew endless tea, as long as the bearer channels their focus. But as word spread of this kettle, it became highly coveted. Craftsmen shattered it and scattered its fragments, sealing them within ancient magic to protect their presence. Craftsmen hid four fragments with their locations woven into riddles. From the birth of the lotus, we've drifted afar, return and ascend to touch a hidden star. Amidst echoing caves and waters fall, pour tea where the giant stands tall. Where thorns weave walls, a lone shrine stands, take a leap of faith where danger lands. Where waters seethe beneath mountains peak, shake the earth to reveal what you seek. Infinite tea kettle. Well, I've already got one of those pieces. Logan Brave Lotus, could that really be a piece of the infinite kettle? It does look as I imagined, but it is perhaps impossible to know until all the pieces are collected. You've won a four. Please return when you have all four of them, and I will fix it. Will she? Or will she try and take it from me? Is that going to be like a secret boss fight? Ooh. Co. My goodness. The creature that won... The creatures that wander this mountain are truly unmatched in their outlandishness. But you, your aroma is sweet, like that of a flower. It reminds me of the glorious rolling fields of the east. How I miss soaring across the skies of strange garden so freely. Now there are beasts most foul sniping my brethren from the skies. I came to this village to recruit aerial warriors to aid in securing the skies above these mountains, but I found nothing but bumbling brutes only interested in combat for spectacle. You can meet the brutes yourself. You will find them squatting in an abandoned pagoda on a cliffside west of here. They don't even hang out in this town. Hey, it's the it's the charm shop. Ooh, and he sells a strap. Uh, bigger. Well equipped, allows you to reach boiling state faster. Allows your tea kettle to hold slightly more tea. Uh, does not affect your... Wait, increase your basic attack range. Does not affect your downward attack range. Well, then it's useless. There is, like, a incredible focus on the aerial stuff in this game. What the fuck does this lead to? Hey there. Mikami. So cold, need warmth, need fire. Finesse of the flame. Uh, Mikami sits shivering. 
her fire is gone out, she will likely freeze without its warmth. Bring her warmth by restoring flame to her campfire. Status Mikami is freezing. How do I do that? Oh, fuck. Hmm. Mm, ba, ba, da, da. Ah, fuck. I'm hitting buttons. Yeah, that is the right one. Oh, shit, what the hell? Oh, it's slow moving. But... You gotta be careful. Oh! Damn it, this one's gonna be fucking tricky. Drink my tea. It's gonna hit the corner, isn't it? Oh, no, no, no. Is it still going? Oh, it was still going. Oh, man. I did so good. I was almost there. Fuck. Okay, it's good to know that you can, like, bounce off of the fireball while it's, like, doing its thing. Fuck that up. Oh, shit. Yeah, there we go. Just, like, ride the fireball. Yeah, that's, like, the easiest thing to do, I think. Use your jump resets and try to ride the fireball. Right there. I do it? I did it. I nailed it. So cold. So, whoa. Sweet, sweet warmth. How delightful. Thank you, stranger. I'm Mikami, also known as the White Magnolia. Lover of adventure. I thought there might be some adventure in this cave, but I couldn't find any. Before I knew it, my fire went out, and I couldn't make my way out again. Another hour or two, and I would have become a cute little popsicle. Wait a minute, that scroll you have, it bears the crest of the Usagi. May I have a look? Uh, this message is from Rozu. He's asking us to return to help rebuild our once lovely home in the Crimson Bamboo Forest. It's been so long since I've heard from home. I've been wandering these chilly mountains in search of adventure with no success. Maybe I should go home. Uh, I will take your salvation as a sign that maybe I'm not cut out for this cave exploring. And go rebuild the forest. I will return. Not just because it's cold, but because I have to you go rebuild the forest. Forest is under construction. Cool, what'd she give me? Proficiency. While well, equipped, regularly rewards extra T after a certain number of enemy hits. Oh, that's cool. Well, we cleared that out nice and quick. Boing. Boing. It cost 500 for that other strap, right? Hmm. <sighs> Oh, the wind out here.
Oh. What is this, a Yukiona? It's just her head, though. That's a switch. Can't hit it, though. Oh. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is for wall jumping, and I don't have that yet. Ooh. Ooh, look at these. Oh, oh. Hit that by accident, but that was cool. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Well. Mmm, this might be a problem. Uh, shit. Okay, I can't hook shot or dash up there or anything. Uh, I can't hit that. I need something to throw at that. But it doesn't look like there's anything that I can use for that purpose. Nope. Nope. Okay. Hmm. can't go up there because I can't wall jump or go high enough. Uh, he's just got repeated dialogue. There's nothing in the tea house. And that's just back the way I came, which has nothing of value for me either. So, shit. <sighs> that cave, hold on. This cave connects to the other one, apparently. Hmm. How does it do that, though? All the way at the end there... ...is... ...wait. No way. And is that also say no. No, there's no way. Is that map trying to tell me? Oh. No. There's no way, right? Because the, the part that I'm, I just, the part right here, right, that I'm standing on, I clearly have to, like, slam through that or something from above. But I don't have that yet. I, oh, fuck. Now, in there... Oh, that is breakable from down here, isn't it? Hmm. I didn't quite realize. Okay, so that busts that open. 
into there, but what does that actually do? Since this is right here, there's, does that actually do what I think it does? Hmm. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try and ride the fireball up into that hole. Okay, so I managed to ride the fireball up into this hole, but now that's broken the floor here and I can't get over to that other part. Did I have to like specifically, yup, I had to save one of the enemies. Okay. But now what? How do I... Ah, of course. What the hell does this do? Would you like to read a blessing? Oh, it refills my teapot when I read a blessing. I didn't realize that. I only just saw it do it. You can overcome any challenge, obstacle, or foe that stands in your way. Learn, try, and evolve your body, soul, and mind, even through the darkest times. Whatever. I'm gonna get another one. Uh, the road ahead may be rough, but you've got to believe in yourself. I have faith in you, little petal. Got it. Thanks, man. Oh, big Tengu statue. Statues. Ha. 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 Aerial Master. bunch of homing shots. Fuck! Damn it. Oh, man. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's actually totally fine, because now I know how to handle this. Oh, and the switch has already been flipped, so... Whoop, whoop. Nice. All right, drink. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I get you. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six. I should drink real quick. There we go. Oh no! Oh shit. Okay, I did better that time, I think. But still. I think I gotta stay away from the heads when they come in first. You bitch. I will finish you off. You too, because you're free money. And I'll just drink. You know what? Fuck it. Let's refill. Uh, actually, you know what? No, we don't need to. 
We don't need to. It's my instinct to just be like, no, top up, fill out, right? Like, get as much as you can to go into the boss fight with. But, like... We're actually getting what we need during the fight. Drink. No, drink, drink, drink. Oh, it won't. Oh, man. I was holding the button thinking that, like, he'd keep drinking even if he got hit, but no, the interrupt stopped it. Like, entirely. Okay. Maybe I should equip that charm that lets me walk and drink. Do I have that one? Or did I just see it in the store? projectiles and bounce off of them. Oh fuck, I jumped right into that. Why did I do that? Oh, that was so stupid. I was doing so well that time. Attack, damage, increases when you interrupt your dash with a basic attack. Increases max health by one. Allows you to move slowly while sipping. Uh, no. I'm gonna put this on. Just for now. There I go, getting hit already again. Just losing that health that I just equipped. Come on. How many do you take to pop? What was that, six or seven? Aerial combos. What? Shigishaw! Hell! Fua! Hya! Okay. Okay. That's that's a few problems solved. Let's get you. Oh fuck. Can't go through the fire. And wait for him to stop blowing. There we go. Okay, we're doing it quickly. Oh shit, that's a lot. Quickly, heal. Okay. 
Ooh. All right, well done me. Uh, hey, Lognite is here. Welcome. Welcome. How are you? Hope all's well. Hope you're doing good today. Lognite said, how is my favorite dead streamer doing? I'm doing okay. Less dead than usual. Been uh, very confused by some of this... Uh, some of this dungeon so far, but uh, I'm doing okay. We're getting through it. I'm uh, made good progress today as well, getting through some more of those tutorial videos for the uh, the software I'm learning. I'm al I'm almost two thirds of the way through, I think. So that's great. <laughs> Maybe I'll be done by the end of the month. I don't know. <laughs> oh God, you know, I got that fucking. Um, I got that new software shit and it came with like a fucking free 60 day trial and I'm gonna spend 30 days just fucking learning it. Just on account of how many fucking videos there are, it's stupid. Now I had planned on like paying for a license anyways, but like, it still sucks ass. Log next to this may not be Something I should say, but is it that smart learning it all that at once? Uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, something I learned uh, forever ago was that um, if you're... Let's say you pick up... Um, this is a great resource. Uh, the um, Complete Idiot's Guide to Whatever Books. Um, that's how I learned uh, music, actually. Um, how to play instruments and whatnot was with those books because it explained it a lot clearer than uh, any of my teachers ever did but uh, I found um, I found that the best way is like if you're say reading a book or going through tutorial videos or whatever right um, I read through the book once from cover to cover just to familiarize myself with it and then I read through it again with the intention of like absorbing it and taking notes and all of that. Uh, now, thankfully, um, whether for better or worse, a lot of the videos are um, uh, repetitive. There are a lot of like the same videos, like literally the same videos in different playlists. So I can rewatch them for um, reinforcement or I can just skip them if I don't need them. Um, but yeah, at the, at the very least, like going through it all once to begin with will familiarize me with it. And then I can go back through anything important that I, I know that I've missed and need to cover again, um, much quicker and easier. I am taking notes my first like time through, um, and thankfully, a lot of it is uh, useless to me. I would say about 50% of it is uh, how to set up shortcuts and do things like uh, turn, like set up keyboard commands, like Control Z or whatever, for things that you can just click. The guy's like, so to do this, you click this and then you click this, but that takes time which is all of like two seconds. He's like, but what if we made a keyboard shortcut? And I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna remember a billion keyboard shortcuts and it's gonna take longer for me to look at a piece of paper uh, and find the shortcut and then punch it in wrong than it is to actually just click the option on the screen. My hand's already on the mouse, right? Um, so a lot of it is skippable. Um, and I would say like another 20 to 30% of it is for um, a type of music production that is not what I'm doing. Um, a lot, it's for like, uh, like downloading samples and mixing pre-recorded sounds, uh, whereas I'm looking to record live music. 
he's all like, here's how you can like synthesize like guitar with MIDI and here's how you can fake bass. And I'm like, bitch, I fucking, <laughs> I, I paid for recording equipment and software. Like I'm, <laughs> I, I can, I can actually do this. I don't need to fake it. So a lot of that is also skippable. Um, the playlist that covered like actually recording live stuff uh, was like even that was half skippable and the section on recording live drums was actually about recording MIDI drums which is like entirely different ironically though there was a whole section on actually recording live drums in the following playset but not in the one where it should have been so, yeah, it, it's a bit of a mess to go through, um, and I do have to watch at least, like, three to four minutes of each video, I think, like, to figure out what the subject is and, and if I can skip it or not. Um, but I am learning, like, a lot. I'm learning a lot more. Um, I already learned an audio software program, like, before, and... Um, this is just sort of me re-familiarizing myself with everything that I learned in that program. Um, but it's also teaching me a bunch of new stuff that I didn't know about. Um, a lot of, like... I'm actually able to, like, identify and solve a lot of problems that I was coming across before, but I didn't know what they were. So, like, when, when you record and it's making like popping and clicking noises and the audio's glitching out like i know what that is and i know how to fix that now i know how to like prevent it from happening like that's something that used to happen and i had no idea what it was and i would just re-record over and over again until it stopped happening um yeah it's it's a lot to go through but i am I am doing it in a way that I can handle it. I've, I've been, like, learning things by myself for a very long time, so I, I'm very familiar with how to go about it. Lognex said, I get shortcuts is probably more for those who are immersed and can remember their own shortcuts. Um, suppose a lot of people actually don't play the instrument and need tutorial on how to fake it. Um, th there's a lot of, like utility and accessibility for that kind of uh it's called like loop based production um in in the in the software uh it it accommodates that a lot uh it's just not something that like i need to do it's a lot of like copy and paste when i can just hit the record button and actually play the instrument But uh, it's 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 coming along, and like I said, I can skip about seventy percent of the videos that are actually there. I just need to watch like the first couple of minutes to make sure I can skip them. No music programs have been much better these days, but yeah, as long as you retain it after a few times, it's good. I'm 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 holding on to it. And you're right, the software has gotten a lot better than it was, like, say, 10, 15 years ago. Um, the, the, you used to need, like, a whole room full of, like, keyboards and, and fucking amps and cables and all kinds of shit in order to, like, produce music. And now you just get it all in, in the computer. I could do it all, like, digitally but there's i don't for me it's a lot easier to just play the instrument than to go looking for samples and adjusting their levels and and all of that it's bad enough having to do that for for the drums don't want to have to do that for everything else too <sighs> morrow is a is a giant gorilla that like lives in the the hot spring in the mountain morrow was the name of the the big mama wolf who lived in the mountains in fucking princess mononoke look at what the breeze has blown our way a little guy 
I haven't seen one of your kind in quite some time. Little guys generally freeze and wilt before they reach the dark side of the mountain. The Kami must really be really looking out for you. Daddy, who are you talking to? Oh, a little guy. I've seen you in one of my picture scrolls. I never thought I'd see one of you in real life. Your name is Bo. Adorable. Daddy, can we keep him as a pet? That's a little disrespectful. Little guys are highly intelligent celestial creatures, Waka. Keeping one as a pet would be inappropriate. Maybe he can be my new little brother. I'm getting a little sick of Waka these days. Ha 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 Waka, breathe. We have to control our, your outburst, remember? She gets seriously scary sometimes, but between you and me, I like her better when she's angry. I'll only calm down if you tell us the story of how you trained with the Dai Tengu in the Tengu's caverns, Daddy. Yeah, someday you, Waka, and I will go find the Dai Tengu and train just like you did. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, I long for the day that I, we could be, we are, rep when Ushi and Waka are, are replaced with peace and quiet. Oh, oh, he wants, okay, alright. I wasn't sure what he meant by the way that was worded. So they want to hear the story of that time he was real cool. I can't get through there because of that block. Alright. Should I go... Ooh, you know what? Yeah. Let's go... Soccer City Coast. Where? Megumi Mountain. Uh, City Coast. I can't believe... Oh, hey, we haven't done this yet. Ooh, is she gonna, like, make out with us in there? It's the way she's, like, cradling us all, like... Hmm. Bo is her little Shota. <laughs> now, I'm surprised that there's not one of those in the forest. Although, that might be because of the whole fox spell thing. Now, where do I need to go? I need to... I need to go this way, I think. No, not that way. I need to go up. And hit the tea house. Ooh, I should also hit the fucking... Smithy, right? Just to see. Stop making out with the teleportation shortcut, ladies. Why? But why, though? <laughs> How do you like the new weapon I made just for you, my sweet bud? She's been gone for so long. I remember her mentioning something about Kitsune Burrows. Would you go look for her? Or somewhere beneath the Midori Forest. Those burrows run really deep, and the deeper you go, the more dangerous. Please be careful. below the forest. Bitch. Okay, so over there is a block that I can't break like from this side. Up there is, I don't know, but that's definitely not below. As is that. Um... There's that, but that doesn't seem like below. It seems like in the middle. So there's got to be... Oh, man. What a fucking mess. In the Fox Bros. Don't want teleportation aids on my balls. Is that... Is that how you... Do you get ball diseases from making out? Is that how that works? I hope that's not how that works. 
Would you like to see? Yeah, upgrade. Upgrade! Increase the deep cattle fuck thing, yeah! Fuse and fill. Take it. Take it. Take it all, you weird freak. Did he upgrade it at all? Did it, like, change the way it looks at all? It's grown larger. It holds 12 now instead of 10. How do you think girls get sick? Um, they, is it, they get sick in their balls? Is that what you're saying? It's because they have a free for all in the bathroom in school. Oh, the girls all making out in the bathroom on lunch break and then their balls get sick. Is that, is that what's going on? That's a shame. Poor girls and their sick balls. It'd be fun if they had balls. <laughs> well, it would be something. And that's You found fifteen out of thirty four guys. Let's see what you can fucking build. Oh, you don't know shit about what this is, ah oh, fucker. It's gonna cost three thingies to build the thingy, but also a hundred stuff to build the thingy. Damn it. Damn it all. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold, 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 hold the fucking. Hold the phone. Wait for it. Wait, ah, there we go. Okay. Let's get the hell out of this city. I want to get up to the top. Can I? Can I not? How do I get to the second floor? You. You know, between you and me, there's more to these archives than meets the eye. Saga Shogun has recently made it part of their agenda to hide certain scrolls from the eyes of the everyday folk. Of course, I'm against that. I am in the business of spreading knowledge, not shrouding it. On the second floor of this building is the Forbidden Archives where the scrolls are kept, but the entrance has been boarded up by those that wish to keep the common folk from knowing deeper truths. If a certain stone were to find a way to remove the wooden boards from outside that block of the entrance, those are been archives, it wouldn't bother me at all. Perhaps the Kodama could be of help. Those four sprites are handy with a hammer. New project is available. Open up the archives. Go to the Kodamas and teach them to sing, Fuck the police. Fuck, fuck. Fuck the police. Uh. What the fuck? You read a story about a girl going to the doctor because she was sick. And it turns out she'd been whoring herself at, out at school in the bathroom? That's fucked up. Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus fucking... Oh, God. Oh, the way that's phrased in chat is a little graphic. I'm gonna... I'm gonna skip over that, but... Ugh. You know... I... <laughs> There, I, I've i known a few people who were hustling at school who who had like they they would buy like cases of pop and uh, and like keep them in their locker and sell them like a buck a piece or whatever right hey look this is nice and cheap they'd sell cans of pop really cheap or or like bags of snacks or like like chips and, and chocolate and stuff like that right um, and they'd like run a shop out of their locker and they'd, you know, they'd make some money. Um, or they, you know, they do it the old fashioned way and just sell drugs. But, <laughs> but fuck, did I screw that up? Oh, they put lanterns here. Awesome. Um, but to be whoring yourself out in the bathroom, that's a, that's a little bit much. School had snack dealers. We did have snack dealers, which was kind of silly 
because not only do we have a cafeteria, but we also had, um, it was called the Snack Shack. It was like a little, it was, it was like a little, uh, fucking kiosk across the hallway from the cafeteria that just sold, like, it sold, it, it, it just sold, like, the worst shit. Just, like, bags of chips and sour keys, and they used to sell this, like, weird off-brand energy drink. It wasn't even an energy drink. It was, like, a Gatorade or something. But it, it had, like, 300 milligrams of salt in it or something it it was incredible it was it it was like it was like salt water but it was like a Gatorade it was crazy um fucking like the most unhealthy thing for you in the world but they were delicious I don't I don't know why it was probably all the salt um horrible horrible drinks um would that make you sick as hell? Yeah. Yeah, it would. You're exactly right. It would. Um, <laughs> yeah, we... There, there was... There was definitely, like... We had the cafeteria. We had the snack shack. There were... There were fucking vending machines. Like, in and around, like, both areas. Uh, so, the idea that somebody would need to bring in stuff to sell out of their locker seems a bit excessive. But then again, people also bought from those people, and they turned a profit, so... Uh, it is what it is, I guess? I don't know. Would you like to read the scroll of the Usagi? Uh, Lognex said, My schools hated snacks as well until I went to my last one. Drank soda, ate unhealthy as well. Yeah, there was, um... There was a bit of a turn here where, like... Um, the, the Canadian school boards or whatever were like, yeah, we can't, like, stop children from eating and drinking during the day. Like, you, you can't have, like, a bowl of soup in the middle of class and, like, be, like, messy and disruptive and everything. But, like, to have an energy bar, like, that you keep in your desk or, or, like, a... I don't know, like a little bag of goldfish crackers and a bottle of water or something. Like that's kind of like a basic human right, and you like you kind of have to like let children have that. We we didn't initially, but then they were like, yeah, kids need to eat, I guess. So, scroll of the Usagi, west of Sakura City, across the perilous waters lies a forest full. The forest of crimson bamboo where the full moon hangs heavy in the sky. There the Usagi clan dwells in peaceful harmony with nature, residing in primitive bamboo huts crafted from the leaves of local flora. Ugh! Excuse me. The little guys of the Usagi clan are born from the blessings of the moon kami, Sukiyomi, and exclusively possess the faunal ability of the rabbit. Faunal affinity, sorry. Uh, little guys born of the Usagi clan are unique in the sense that they are unable, they are able, fuck, like super dyslexic today. Little guys born of the Usagi clan are unique in the sense that they are able to survive with far less sunlight than others. It is this special perk that allows them to survive by the light of the moon exclusively. Some are even known to burrow below underground for weeks at a time, never seeing sunlight while below the surface. As the ancient tales speak, once in an age when the celestial balance grows turbulent, a new warrior shall arise. This little guy, gifted with the affinity of the fox, natural enemy of the rabbit, shall bear no ill will in his heart, yet it shall be burdened with the heavy responsibility to restore equilibrium to a troubled land. Addendum. At the time of this record, traveling merchants who have recently journeyed to the forest of the crimson bamboo to the west have brought word of devastating news. The villages of the Usagi clan which had long stood as peaceful outposts amidst the towering bamboo, have been reduced to ash and ruin. Local inhabitants, it seems, have evacuated in the face of catastrophe. Furthermore, the Sencho Bridge, which had served as the sole means of traversing the waters and accessing the forest of the crimson bamboo, has been destroyed, apparently by some manner of natural disaster, though the path of the bamboo forest of the east is currently uncertain. One must assume that a means of traversing the distance yet remains. a lot. 
Will same surprise survived all these years with food such as bread and mostly cheese, salami or ham, cheese, and sometimes some. Yeah, thinking back on like what I ate as a child, it's crazy that like I didn't just like starve myself or die of malnutrition. Is the amount of times I chose to just like not eat my lunch or whatever and subsist off of like Dunkaroos and fruit roll ups, like mm, not great. Would you like to read the scroll of the Sakura? Sure. The Sakura, also known as the Cherry Blossom, is a flower of great symbolic significance within the Sakura City. Delicate and ephemeral flowers that dance on the wind currents in the city have come to represent impermanence of life. Uh, a reminder of the fleeting nature of all things, the beauty of the Sakura is both breathtaking and transient, as the blossoms bloom for only a brief moment in memory before drifting to the earth. This impermanence, however, only serves to make the soccer all the more precious. The fleeting beauty of the soccer serves as a reminder to every being to cherish every moment, to appreciate the beauty of the world around us while it struggles to persist. Each petal is a reminder to live out in the present, for the future is uncertain and the past has vanished. Soccer is a symbol of the importance of cherishing here and now, for it is all that truly exists. On Little Guy of the soccer floral affinity of the various varieties of little guys those that bloom forth from the soccer blossom are widely acknowledged as the most beautiful it is for this reason that many travelers flock to soccer city in hopes of catching a glimpse of one though at times crowds of soccer little guys grace the streets of the city their lives though brilliant are also fleeting they are known to have the shortest lifespan of any variety of little guys due to natural limitations for as long as recorded history extends, the rulers of Sakura City, known as the Sakura Shogun, have always been of the Sakura little guy variety. However, owing to their brief lifespans, the authority must be passed on to its successor swiftly upon the onset of wilting. Yet the current Sakura Shogun, widely known for being the longest reigning in history, has managed to prolong its life far beyond what is feasible for a Sakura little guy. Well, the reason for this mysterious ability remains unknown, and most dare not even speculate. The Shogun, though feared by many, is a private individual and rarely leaves the confines of a castle or interacts with the citizens. When he does venture out, he travels in the pink palanquin carried by his uh, Akaname servants. The majority of his time is spent within the castle, where he is said to tinker with mysterious technology guarded by his loyal Sakura samurai. Okay. It's starting to hurt my throat. Would you like to read the, stro the scroll of the Celestial Conduits? In a land of strange garden, there exist two sacred places of great renown. The places known to the learned as the sites of Celestial Conduits are situated at the summit of Megumi Mountain and within the ancient tree deep within Midori Forest. Conduits, visible as beams of energy, the region of the heavens, are easily viewed from afar but have proved to be nigh impossible to reach. Their exact purpose or function is shrouded in mystery, but legend has it that if a being stands before it, that being will be whisked away to another realm. Addendum. It is said that only those deemed worthy by the gods are able to harness the power of these conduits in any meaningful way. However, in recent times, it appears that those who rule over Sakura City have devised a way to recreate an artificial conduit. This conduit's beam, rather than flowing upwards into the heavens, seems to draw energy from the celestial realm into the soren at the top of the city's castle. This sets it apart from the natural conduit from the the sets it apart from its natural counterparts. Since the creation of this artificial conduit, the sun has strangely never set in Sakura City. Though many citizens praise it as a protection against evil, traditionalists believe that such manipulation of celestial energy is a grave affront to the kami, and the artificial conduit's very existence disturbs the natural order. It's a sin to use solar panels. Would you like to read the Scroll of Darkness? Recently, a fearsome... Gasha Dokuro has been spotted in the outskirts of Strange Garden. This gargantuan specter, an amalgam of countless skeletal remains, and emanates an ominous aura, striking fear in the hearts of those who would have un would have been unfortunate enough to catch a glimpse of it. As it roams the peripheral shadows, it slowly grows in size, a chilling testament to the growing darkness that is developing in our realm. Uh, hold on. 
gargantuan specter emanates on this aura fear as it roams it grows it's a metaphor for darkness okay well the gashu Gasha Dokuro's origins are shrouded in mystery. Its appearance ominously followed the construction of the castle's artificial celestial conduit. Work of the soccer shogun and Asahi, his new apprentice. Uh huh. Some speculate a link, yet the truth remains elusive. Born of unresolvable anguish, the Gasha Dokuro serves as a grotesque symbol of the dire consequences of the shogun's rule and the mysterious experiments he conducts in the city's castle. Skeletal behemoth forged in raw hatred seems indestructible. However, the power of light and love may present a potential counterforce. While it poses no immediate threat, its presence is an ominous warning. The celestial conduit's light keeps the Gasha Dokuro at bay for now. Yet it thrives in the darkness should its hatred grow. Safety of the city may hang in the balance. Its potential threat underscores the urgency for love and light to prevail. He's a big man and he is angry. Would you like to read the scroll of the path of the teal lotus? A prophecy, yes. <sighs> prophecy. In realms of new where spirits dwell, the monkey's greed shall toll the bell. With wolf at the side, the key shall turn, and from above, the kami spurn. With shards of fire, vermilion glow, they seize the sun's celestial throne. Yet as they reach to grasp the sky, their arrogance shall draw the ire. From malice thick and deeds most foul, awakes a fiend, a midnight scowl. The beast of bone, the wolf will tend. To bring about false daylight's end. Yet in a land where bamboo sway, a lotus teal shall find its way. World shall heal, scales set right, restoring balance, ending night. Sun shall, oh, god damn it. Sun shall rise, her throne regain, natural order be unchained. Thus speaks the scroll in prescient script, a teal lotus's path forever lit, fam. Sakura no Mikoto, the 23rd Sakura Shogun. This is cringe as fuck. <laughs> I, like, I'm sorry. Like, this, it just, like... Th this poem about, like, a fake prophecy. Like, this is super cringe to read. I don't know how else, like, a, a better way to go about that would have been, but... Jesus. You know what? You know what a better way to go about that would have been? Have a person, res like, tell me about the prophecy. Don't have it written down as, like, poetry. Have have me, like, approach an old man who's like, Have you heard the prophecy of the Teal Lotus? It's said that when the blah 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 happens, the bullshit occurs. Right? Like, don't... Oh, man. Is that a fucking third floor whatever up there? Would you like to read the Scroll of Light? Yeah. Amaterasu, grandson Kami, is the ruler of the celestial realm and bringer of light and warmth to our world. She is revered as the goddess of the sun, agriculture, and prosperity, and is said that her blessings bring bountiful harvests and good fortune. She's known for her strong sense of justice and her desire to protect her people from harm. She's seen as protector of the land and its inhabitants and is often invoked in times of war or natural disaster. Also deeply connected to the Imperial Regalia of Strange Garden, which comprises three sacred treasures that are said to be given to worthy rulers by the Sun Kami herself. These treasures are the mirror, the sword, and the jewel. And they are said to embody Amatarsu's power and authority. The mirror is said to represent wisdom, while the sword represents valor, and the jewel represents benevolence. It is said that the emperor, the emperor, who possesses these treasures, is the one who has been chosen by Amatarsu to rule the land, and that as long as these treasures remain in the leader's possession, Amatarsu will protect and guide this realm. Addendum. <laughs> Mutterings of her disappearance have begun to spill across the land. Some people claim. The soccer shogun as an artificial conduit is to blame, while others seem to not notice and go about their lives as usual, basking in the light provided by the conduit. 
If she has indeed disappeared, her whereabouts are a mystery, and the longer she is gone, the more the world's natural balance will tip to the side of chaos. Holy shit, my throat fucking hurts. And I feel kind of winded. <laughs> like, damn, dude. Alright, since I got that, um, what would you call it? The ink. Since I got the ink, and since I'm right here, ink me up, daddy o. Is awakening your dharma something that interesting? Yeah. Which star mode would you like to awaken? I want to awaken Jingu. Can I purchase not enough reason? Oh, you require money as well. Oh, fucking horrors. Filthy fucking horrors. I'm not going to be able to make enough breaking shit in the city, am I? Not everything drops a little, a little money. Damn it. I'm going to have to actually progress. Man, that mountain is like a whole ass fucking thing, isn't it? Hey, does this guy have anything to say now that the... You know, between you and me, I'm pretty curious myself about what's hidden up there on the second floor of the archives. Maybe the dragon knows more. Glory to the Sakura Shogun. Does the dragon have anything to say now that the thing is open? Thank you for repairing the, new, the entrance to the Forbidden Archives. Now that the information can flow freely, we may perhaps be able to bring about equilibrium to Strange Garden. I find the matters of the moral realm quite interesting indeed, but I shall remain neutral in these matters. Although something tells me that you may have a significant role to play in how things play out from here forward. Cool. He's like, thanks, I got nothing. Piss off. Whatever, man. I'm going to head out to the beach. And I'm going to get in the car with that foreign redhead lady. And we're going to make out while we drive up to the mountains. Yeah. So this is the whole map. I'm just going to end up going, like, somewhere else in the mountains and somewhere else in the forest. Crazy. It's so small. <laughs> And the sounds of like sucking and slurping and you know how it is. Now where the fuck am I going? I can't get past to the left. So I gotta go up and to the right or up and to the left. Let's try this way first, I guess. Hmm, to the left is something, and then up is something else. I can't tell what either of those are. Hey, buddy. Toshi, little lotus bud, the winds must have blown you far, far from home. This mountain is cruel and unforgiving, only suitable for the most durable of beings. That is precisely why the Sumo Kabuto clan has set up our training grounds here. It said those who can live in harmony with this mountain's unrelenting icy winds may be made worthy of blessings from the kami. It is likely that something as small and fragile as yourself will not last long in these parts. But where are my trainees today? Uh, they are a bit uneasy about training outside the pagoda these days, and I cannot blame them. Uh, since we're up here, we're here and you look willing enough, I suppose I could train you for a laugh. Got nothing better to do. Train you away, flying sumo. Yeah. Teach me about flying sumo. 
Your one and only goal is in this training session is to break all the Kabuto sumo dummies. If you touch the ground below, you'll have failed your training and you will have failed me. Luckily, failure is only temporary. You can always talk to me and try again. Nailed it. Oh, oh, oh my. I've not seen such swift and stylish movement like that for ages. A bit unorthodox to be sure, but also impressive, innovative, inspirational. Training complete. You absolutely must visit the sumo stable and inspire our trainees. You might even consider entering the tournament. Pagoda is on the cliff above and to the right. Now that you've completed training, you should have no trouble getting in. Cool. The hell is this? <gasps> Lotus Seed! Oh, that's for fucking ramen! Makes my health go up! Okay, there is shit all over in here. Let me get up this way. Oh, that goes so fast. I was hoping I could ride that like the fireball, but it's different. Hell is in here. The f oh oh well okay um. <gasps> There's a thing in the middle. There's a wait. Where am I? Son of a bitch. I'm down here. Well, nah, fam, nah, ain't happening. I'll bust some heads, but like, I'm gonna just throw myself into a spike pit or something. No way in hell am I gonna fucking platform all the way back up. Nuh-uh. No, what if I just, uh... Run this way. Should have gone the other way. Here we go. Sickle weasels. Yeah, rip my shit open. Okay. Where the fuck? Right, okay, up here. So I need to do exactly what I just did, but like fall off to get the little guy. But I want to get the little guy up here first. Can I not? Oh man. I'll have to like acquire the ability to ride the wind. Shit. Oh, that sucks ass. Okay, middle. Right here. Nailed it. Yeah! Little Kodama man! Now, what was in here? This was a bunch of enemies. And then, what was over here? Oh, it's, this is just here. Okay. It's actually not that far to go. I thought that was... The fight made it seem like it was a much bigger trek. Oh, God. I wish I could ride those wind currents. I wonder if that's what I get for doing the sumo thing. Oh. Wait, what? There's a fan back there. Like a steel fan. 
like a like a, a weapon of some kind. Oh man. Are the weasels actually going to be like after me? Okay, here's the question. Do I have to defeat the weasels as part? No, okay. They're okay, they're actually just obstacles. This encounter proves it. They're just obstacles. Okay. Uh, fuck. Oh, no. No, you don't. Drink. Drink more. Okay. Oh, shit. Why did I jump like that? I almost got eaten by that fucking weasel right at the end. Scuffed gun by. Wooden war fan with a great deal of scratch marks around the handle. The hell? What is it for? Is that what helps me, like, get through the wind? Bo, I was deep in meditation and noticed that hours had passed. Ushi and Waka wander these mountains daily, but are usually always back by this time. It seems like Ushi and Waka have finally grown restless enough to seek out training with the Dai Tengu in the ice caverns below the mountain. Entrance is to the east. You will know it by their clan insignia painted on the rocks. But at the moment, it is blocked off by the rocks that might need a bit of destructive force to break through. Mora's missing monkeys. Okay. Hey, they're over here. Go get them. But you probably can't go get them because you need a move that you don't have yet. Uh, uh, Alright. Like... <laughs> yeah, that did nothing. Great. Okay. I'm going up that way. I can't do nothing. Okay. Gonna have a lot to explore once I get the wind power. Can't go out that way, so I gotta go up. Damn it, Bo. I was, like, I totally could have got that fucking... The, the Kodama up to the left there. But I was worried that landing on his platform would have, like, ended the challenge. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. This fucking guy. Okay, hit him and jump and jump and jump and fuck, man. Why are you like this? Fuck. Oh, no. No. Wait for it. Okay, and hit him with it. Wait a second. Oh, fuck, 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 everybody. No! Christ. All right, careful now. Hit 
hit him with that and get up and hit him with that one. Woo! Oh, there's no shrine outside? Fuck, okay, hold on. I just want to pan the camera. Doesn't look like there's anything over there, at least not yet. Okay, just barely made it. Oh, look at this, like, flying training dummy. Alright, let's start at the beginning. <laughs> With shells as firm as the mountain's boulders and wings that beat as fast as lightning, we ride the icy winds. In the floating ring of attack and defense, we forge ourselves in the way of the flying sumo kabuto. Cool. Welcome to the flying sumo kabuto pagoda. Say that three times fast. I know those symbols and those exclusive scratch marks. Is that my goodbye? Uh, you found it. Ooh, -ee. Gyoji happy. Hand it here. Now the flying sumo tournament may properly begin. You may enter the competition as well, little one, although you may find it difficult to compete without any wings. But I am sure a scrappy little guy such as yourself will find a way to remain competitive. Prize of the tournament will be to share a special cup of tea with Yokozuna himself. To begin the tournament, climb the steps to the right to the first arena. I will meet you there. You can also read the rules on the scroll next to the stairs if you're new to sumo. Flying sumo battles. Okay. No shrine out here, huh? Would you like to read the rules? Yeah. Flying Kabuto Sumo is a thrilling aerial contest of strength and agility where competitors strive to remain within the boundaries of a floating ring while forcing out their opponents out. The objective of competitors' primary objective is to stay within the bounds of a floating ring, uh, then push, hit, or otherwise force their opponent to leave. Point scoring. Uh, each competitor is represented by a unique gunbai or war fan placed in the arena floor moves towards the right side of the arena floor as the competitor accumulates time within the ring. The winner is the competitor whose gun by reaches the prize envelope located on the far right side of the arena floor first. Cool. This should be doable, right? You ready to begin? Stay in the ring for the longest amount of time while keeping your opponents out. Okay. Hyah, hyah, hyah. Hyah, get out of here. Hua. Hua, hua. 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 Get out! Yeah. Oh man, I get to fight like so many of them at once. I was not expecting this. Oh, and I can hit the thing to recharge my bounce. Okay. Oh, fucking get out of here. Impressive aerial acrobatics, my friend. Of no wings as well. I am unsure if it is skill or beginner's luck, but in any case, it's exciting. Next challenge won't be so easy. Don't be discouraged if you can't handle the pressure. Proceed left to, to the next bout. I shall see you there. Cool. Would you like to read the rules of flying sumo? It's the same, right? In case you forgot somehow. Oh. Okay, you ready to be in? This one will be twice the fun. Ha! 
Hiya! Fuck off. Get out of my arena, bitch. Where am I? Oh, fuck. I lost sight of myself. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Hit him. Did I do it? I didn't do it, did I? Seems like the Hulking Beetle's got the best of you this time. Well, yeah, I mean, like, there's so many more of them to fill up the thing faster. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh. Okay. I gotta not necessarily use the hook shot every time. I can use my dash to get faster. Like, to get over there fast, but also to not shoot past them. I can hit them a lot easier out of the dash than I can out of the hook shot thing. Oh, fuck you guys. Did I do it? You won, unbelievable. You're zooming across the arena so quickly, it's making our symbol look like motionless mochi balls. Hey, you got my little Kamatachi heart pounding and my tiny sickles glistening with glee. Final bout is upon us, you will meet the Yokozuna himself on the next floor. Proceed to the right to confront your final challenge. I'm afraid I won't be able to join you up there. The Kapito Yugazuna play plays by his own rules. Oh. So he cheats. I'm gonna have to deal with a fucking cheater, huh? Yeah, I guess that is the way to go, isn't it? These big beetle drums. Ooh, and Asahi is just hanging out there in the back watching me. Hi, bud. I see you. You ain't slick. The Kabuto Yokozuna. Oh, it's a boss fight. It's not like a real... It's not a one. another one of those matches. I thought it would be. You know, I should have waited. Yeah, hit him. There we go. You know what? Heal a little bit. One, two, there we go. Okay, now he's gonna be a dickhead. Oh shit. They're gonna like bounce towards me. Yeah, look at them homing in on me. Trying so hard to hit me. Saw that coming. Heal quickly. Oh fuck! The hell are those? Doesn't matter, gotta heal fast. Come on. Uh, heal a little bit. Come on. 
quickly. <clears throat> Wait for him to roll. Oh shit, oh he got me with them rocks. Twice. With them same rocks. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck, I was so close. Damn it. I could feel it. I could feel the closeness. Right there. Man, and I know as soon as I go back to the city the next time, I'm gonna be able to upgrade my tea kettle and my health. Ah, oh, fuck. But I don't know if I want to go, like, back right away and end up... Um... Having to come back up that fucking ladder of lanterns again with the snowmen. Because that kind of sucked. There is a shrine in here, though, so I guess it doesn't really matter if I take hits, does it? You know, if I don't need heals, I should probably use my tea as much as I can for, uh, those extra attacks. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Hold on. Heal quickly. Oh, shit. Shouldn't have gone for the second one. Oh, shit. I didn't expect that. Okay. Heal. Heal. Oh, oh did I do it? I got both heals, and I dodged his rocks. Ah, oh, shit, didn't dodge him that time, though. Alright, drink real fast, come on. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Again, right? Heal and dodge and heal and shock waves and then he rolls. Fuck. Fuck. Heal quickly. One, two. I do it? I did it. I did it. Goji. Get this ferocious fox some tea. I did it. I earned the respect of the big beetle. Here you are, sir. I just knew Bo had it in them all along. Oh, hush, Goji. Neither you nor I could have ever expected that a tiny being like this could have bested me. But here we are. It's been ages since I've had a worthy opponent, and you gave me that bow. Thank you. Uh, is that strange fellow outside a friend of yours? I saw him follow you in here. 
You there, get in here and join us for some tea. It's time to celebrate the new champion. Yeah, he was just creeping. Uh, well, um, actually, um, um, uh, yeah, tea, tea, tea. Tea, tea, tea. God, I would love a cup of tea right now. Fuck, I would love some tea. Earring transformation unlocked. Kabuto wings. Your earrings has the ability to transform into Kabuto wings. Hold LT while in the air. You're one of us now. No longer bound to the ground. Ride the winds and soar to greater heights. It would be an honor to witness your first flight. Check out the windy passage to the left and stretch those wings. Ooh, awakening ink. Tea ceremony. It was an unexpected honor to witness. It's peculiar, isn't it? We arrive with prejudice, and yet over time, I see that there's something to admire in the way these outwardly brutish creatures live their lives, an integrity that I never expected to witness. And yet, I have tasks to fulfill, responsibilities that weigh heavily on my shoulders. I'll say this, Bo. In this world, it is naive to view things as purely good or evil. Morality is a constant shifting of shades. There are nuances to every action we take, but the greater good must always be our priority. Oh goodness, I am beginning to sound more and more like him, aren't I? I implore you, Bo, leave this place quickly. Continue your journey and let nothing sway you from your path. Fly and do not linger. There are things that must be done. Okay. Can I go to the left here? Oh, there is something. Hold L while airborne. Okay. And it just pushes you in the direction of the wind. Oh, hey, look, there's the bird guy in the background. He was like, I came here to find people who can fly, who would like to fight. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Nice. Nailed it. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> oh, there, there he is. You there. Seeing you float down from above this mountain summit on wings of teal and vermilion. You drank the Kabuto tea then? Upon your departure from their pagoda, it seems as though their f situation has swiftly deteriorated. What caused their demise? I don't know for certain, but I have my suspicions. What do I know for certain? Uh, is the situation grows dire. It has come to the point where I must return to the caverns below to speak with him. I can't expect you to join in our fight, but if you feel so called, please find me in the ice caverns below this mountain, but please do check on your sumo companions first. He wants me to go back up the mountain already? Like, back into the pagoda? Well, I can't go through there. Probably have to come back here later. Hey. Da 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 da. Oh man, the smoke. Oh hey, now I can skip that whole part. Jeebus Christ. And there's the... The big gross man. Is this what the snow is for? I don't get it. What is it for? Can I shoot that thing? No. Well, shit, man. Can I... I guess I can't... Fuck. <laughs> can't go up from here, huh? Uh-oh. No, well, at least it sticks me right there. Oh, shit. 
What the fuck? He's all like frozen over. Why is that? What the hell happened, sumo man? Is there like a... I guess there's no fire for me to melt him, is there? Christ. Oh, and this is blocked off from the other side. I'll have to go around and pop that open. This should be clear, right? Not gonna trap me again? Good. Okay, uh... I just have to break that block, right? There we go. And he's still frozen. Don't know how to fix that. I need to put out the fire at the tower, and I need to bring fire down here for him. Now, it was up here that there was more wind for me to ride, right? Yup. Ooh. Okay. What the fuck is... Ooh. Was that the whole point of that? You know, I'm gonna go back up. And... Oh, there's another one. Okay, let's heal real fast. Let's see. This isn't bustable, huh? No. Oh, you bitch. You bitch! Sit here and drink. This looks like you can go through there, but maybe not yet. Now, if I just drop... There we go. Oh, it's the fucking cat! And it did damage and it took my stuff, didn't it? That fucking cat. Well, that's a weird place to checkpoint me. But at least it's a checkpoint. Now I can go this way. I wonder if it's like, it's not going to still be there, is it? I tried that before to go back for one and it, it was gone, I think. Yeah, right about here. It's gone. That's okay. Now there is other stuff up there, huh? On the other side? I guess we should check that out. Fuck you, lady. You nasty. Okay, drink. Quickly. And then we'll just sail right over her head. There we go. Nope. Ha ha. Drink and drink. Now. 
How high up is this going to take me? Up to there, and this is as far over as we'll go. So let's just float down slowly. Make sure I don't miss anything. What is this? I can't grab it. I wonder if I have to finish the rabbit quest before I can pick the rabbit flowers. Oh, this is just there. And then this right leads back down to where the the monkey man is. Okay. So I still need wind in order to get through there. And... Or I need a wall jump to get through there, sorry. And then there's something else through there at the bottom. Let's see. I'm done up there, so... I think what I want to do is go over to that other shrine and hit that as my next, like, checkpoint. Which might have been better to do from the city. But if I go back there, I might trigger a bunch of other stuff as well, so... Hold on. Is this... Almost. I might as well just keep going. Right, so this... Right, this is supposed to go down, but I didn't break the thing, so it doesn't. No, I don't want any of those, I don't think. There's nothing in there for me, so let's go this way. Wait. No, I'm going the wrong way now. We want to go down. Here we go. This is the right way to go, yeah? Except, oh, fuck, yeah, but the shortcut to, yeah, okay. No, I was going the right way. Alright, back through the, the weasel field, I guess. I hate that so much. The weasel field. I hope it's not going to be as much of a pain in the ass to get back over this side. And it might be. Oh. Almost. Almost as much of a pain in the ass. Very close. Does this go up? No, it does not. Okay. It's just there to make things easier. Is this? This is the right way. Okay. There was something over here, wasn't it? Right. Yeah, it was. It was this. And there was no way I was going to get through through it. Hmm. No. I don't think... I don't think I can get through this yet. <clears throat> nope. Uh, 
Oh, almost. Uh, oh. Hmm. Oh, fuck. I didn't get the jump. Well, maybe I come back through here from somewhere else. Oh, am I not allowed to... Oh, right, because I gotta go this way first. Right, that, that makes sense. Okay, and then we drop down. And go back this way. I did it. And we cleared that all out, so I can just go this way. Okay. And we're back at the city. You really did it. You trained with the Sumo Kabuto. You even defeated Yokozuna himself. I knew you had it in your bow. You know, I heard there is more to see to the west. There are rumored to be Tengu living in those ice caverns deep below the surface. Those guys are super scary, though. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of shit going on up there. Let's see. Upgrade the tea kettle, please. Oka Oasis. Now it holds even more. What is it, 14? Yep. Not quite enough for a third heal. If, if I only get two more upgrades and it caps out at 18, I'm going to be really pissed. I'm going to be really pissed if it doesn't give me a full 20. To get like a, a solid like four heals out of it. That That's just... That would be so fucking stupid. Hey, you. I can get the ramen shit now. Okay. Teal ramen? Yeah, it's cheaper on the Foxfire. Let's get the teal ramen. Coming right up. That's not the bowl I ordered. Ooh, he's got like a glow about him. You gain more health. Nice. And it's gone. I can no longer order that one. Yeah, okay. I figured as much. Now let's see. I can't go out to the field... I mean, I can. Uh, swords? I can't go in and get that upgraded yet. Because I still haven't found what's-her-face. Return from your travels. Do you want to awaken your thing? Yep, I do. And I've got two inks, right? So I can upgrade, like, more of these guys. Oh. Come back, you find any more lost children, I'd be happy to apply rough strokes. Let's do it. Who do I want to awaken? Chomper or Mamori or Togachan? Increases orbiting speed, thorn baby quantity and duration. Increases orbiting speed, thorn baby quantity and duration. Hmm. All enemies caught in the can. I'm gonna upgrade this one. We haven't used them yet, but I'm going to. You know what? We'll, uh. I will equip him so that we can use him next. 
Now, how much did those cost? The uh, ink was 500. And the other guy was what? 400? Okay. Hmm. Now, I wonder. Well, let's go visit the. The who's it? Yeah. The architect. You found 19 of my 34 canal. What would you like to see? Oh, I'm missing a crystal thing now. Shit. Fine. I will go this way. And we'll go to the pond. Uh, let's see. Resets your jump and dash after taking damage. Uh, this is kettle's full. You know what? Not gonna worry about it. Not yet. I'll hang on to what I have. Now what? There's nothing out here. Shit. You got anything to say? Uh, we as once we were such a sight would bring us something terrible from within the chosen path of peace. Thank you for reading us once again. You will always be welcome to listen to us. Once more we lay eyes upon our little guest. We can tell the energy continues to grow even more. Such fights, sight fills with glee. I wonder if this guy's gonna eat me at some point. Merukurin. I. You sure like Soccer City, don't you? I heard about your tournament in the Megumi Mountain. Gotta say, you've impressed even me with that one. Enjoy your respite, little cub. Who are you? Uh, I can tell just by the frost in your pals that you've been up in the mountains. Were you able to meet the Sumo Kabuto there? It might not look it, but I was super into Kabuto Sumo back in the day. Even competed, never were able to keep up with them. Blah, blah, blah. Pet the dog. Hug the dog. Puppy! Oh, oh, I will, I will hug the dog now. Come here, puppy. Rah. How are you doing? You okay? I'm playing this game here, and the guy, he can hug his puppy. You come in at the perfect time, I'll give you a hug. Mm -hmm. He's a nice man, he's a nice hug, thank you. He's a good boy. What are you doing? Are you just vibe checking? You know? You just come down and say hi? It's always nice to see you. Oh, I'll, I'll hug him again. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Where am I off to now? I actually don't know. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to go check out yeah, the ice caverns. I'm supposed to find my way into the ice caverns. But... That's like over here, isn't it? Does that mean that I have to do that fucking perfect jump whatever with the goddamn... With the wind, or... Wait a minute... was this no this is where I dropped in and I had to fight enemies and then I got the war fan and then I came out here and there was the monkey guy the ice caverns beneath the goddamn thing I don't fucking know I don't know where the shit that is what else Sorry, just checking the... Is it the forest? Yeah, that was the forest. And that was the bridge. And this was the cave, right? 
Hey, there was a big waterfall in that cave. Didn't one of the... Where waters seethe beneath mountains peak, shake the earth to reveal what you know. Amidst echoing caves and waters fall, pour tea where the giant stand, giant stands tall. Yeah, that was, uh... That was all the way over there. Let's see. What if I went... Oh, there's a thing in Uzumaki Cave? Oh, fuck, yeah, let's just go right there. Oh, and I just got an achievement for going back to the early areas of the game called No Bridge, No Problem. That's cool. Where am I in relation to the giant? There we go. It's not that far. I should be able to traverse this place a lot easier now. Actually, I got the dash for completing this place, didn't I? So... It'll be about the same, I guess. Alright. Pop. Bouncy, bouncy. Like, right here, actually. Oh, wait for it. Aha! I got them. Okay, is this where I do it? Or... Hold on, am I supposed to... This lavish offering table... What if I drink tea there? Nothing? Hmm. Hey, this symbol is the same one that we saw up in the mountains. I wonder what that's about. Hmm. Wait a minute. That almost looks like a sun marker. Like that symbol almost looks like the sun. And there's three... There's three imperial regalia. The sword, the jewel, and the mirror. Fucking Amaterasu's been sealed inside this cave. I'm calling it right now. Amaterasu's been sealed inside this fucking cave, and we have to put the imperial regalia on these fucking altars in order to open it. Because you have to offer up your, what is it, divinely appointed authority. You have to offer it back to the gods in order to bring them out of hiding or whatever it is. They've totally got her locked away in a fucking cave. Well, I thought this would be the room... Where I, uh, I pour tea. Maybe it's here? Maybe I just gotta, like... Oh, I need to be injured. Okay. Well, let me fix that real quickly. This is the... Is there something over here that can injure me? There we go. Come on. Almost there. Oh, 
Okay, right here. Yeah, man, I could have done that from the beginning. New item, Kettle Fragment. I got the handle and I got the spout, but it's showing me that I have like half of the body. It looks like I'm almost out from being here, so I might as well... Oh, fuck. There we go. Platform your way out of the cave. They definitely put those little statues on the edges of the platforms so that you can hit them instead of landing and keep your aerial traversal going. That's a that's an interesting design choice. Okay. Yeah, so I just gotta go like up, right? Or can I oh I gotta go around. Now, fuck. I should have gone back down towards the other one. Oh, uh, whatever. Oh, hey, hold on. Whoa. That's blue. There's nothing in here. That's fine. That means there's got to be something blue around here that I can, like, shoot at that thing. Fuck me. God damn it. Heal. For two. Not three. God damn it. Alright, bounce. Anything over here? No, just the mushroom. Okay, can I? I f fucking nailed it and what did I find a charm confidence no confidence I increase your basic attack damage per hit significantly but doubles damage taken son of a bitch why is it always like that why is it always oh yeah you get a damage upgrade but you're gonna take double damage like why why can't you just give me a fucking upgrade What is so wrong about just giving your players an upgrade? It's better than those Psycho River City upgrades. Ooh, 5% extra damage. Yeah, yeah, because that's what everybody wants, right? 5%? Put me in... Oh. What a pleasant surprise. It's just so nice to feel the familiar warmth of home, yet it feels a bit too quiet, don't you think? Not too long ago, these forests bustled with the prancing of the Usagi clan, and now, yes, well, now we wait. We wait for two more Usagi clan members to return to the homeland. Until then, let's keep the fire burning and hope alive. Keep the fire burning and the hope alive. Thanks for lighting the way for me, my friend. Cool. I need to go back. There's nothing else to do in the city, right? 
I can't go to the doll store. I can't go to the weapon store. I can't go to the food shop. I can't go to the tea shop. I can't buy any architect stuff. I can't build no buildings. Uh, I can't buy... There's none of the charms I want at the shop. Uh, that's pretty much it, isn't it? All right, well, I'm going to go... You know, we are going to go to the city. We are going to go to the city, and we're going to actually just go to the forest. At least I think we're going to go to the forest. There's a bunch of shit there I didn't finish exploring. But there's... My quests still want me to go up into the mountains, so I don't know. There we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go deal with the forest. Past the burning field. Don't worry about it. Until you see the little sapling there, then worry about it because it's sad. So I have two of those infinite teapot shards. One of them is going to be in the mountains. Where's the other one going to be? Is it going to be back in the uh, in the other forest where the red bamboo is? We gotta go through there, and through there, and there as well. Okay, well, we'll do that next time. Boop, boop, ba doop. Alright, well, that was more bow. Path of the Teal Lotus. Oh, big stretch. Ah, big meat stretch. Okay. Boy, that mountain was something else. I feel like it took us long, like, twice as long to go through the mountain as it did for us to go through the forest for some reason. Uh, that was big. And now I have to go further into the mountain, but I'm not sure how to do that. So... Yeah. When we come back, we'll start by exploring the rest of the forest, clear that out as much as we can, and then we will go back to the mountains. Um, yeah, I might take a look at that riddle again and see if, like, if the four piece is in the forest, in the, the crimson bamboo. Um, if it is, maybe we'll go back there and we'll try to figure out where the the thing is find it um otherwise yeah it'll be forest mountain and then who knows what ideally i would like to get through the forest to find the smith the weapon smith so that i can upgrade my weapon but you know maybe that's an end game thing i don't know maybe we get that one freebie and that's it but we'll see. We'll find out. Uh, that'll be next week. That'll be next week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, whatever. Uh, tomorrow's Wednesday, so there'll be no stream tomorrow. Um, but we will definitely have one Thursday, Friday. We'll be checking out something new. And then we'll be here on Saturday, Sunday with more Oblivion. So look forward to that or don't, whatever your call. Either way, thank you. Thank you for being here, guys. If you're here in the chat or the archive or wherever, I appreciate you all coming and hanging out and spending your time with me. I hope that you guys had a good time, and we'll come back for more. And until I see you again, take it easy, stay inside and stay safe, or, you know, go out, have fun, be cool, but be safe, and I will see you all next time. <gasps> Bye-bye!